Men in Black has delivered four amazing action and comedy-packed movies over the years. In all four installments, we have encountered some weirdly powerful, giant, and deadly weapons. One thing that has captivated us from head to toe is the borrowed alien technology used by the agency to face any galactic threats. From neuralizers to deatomizers, the filmmakers have creatively been pushing the edge of what is called reality to devise truly unique and somewhat absurdly overpowered weapons in MIB. This video will look into 11 such marvelous weapons in the MIB department. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Okay. Get out! Noisy Cricket Noisy Cricket is known for firing the fastest moving projectiles on Earth. The weapon definitely sounds like a cricket when used, but it works like nothing the human race has seen before. Given its small size, the weapon comes with extremely powerful recoil, throwing Agent J back and crashing into a wall. Noisy Cricket has been used in clash scenes with Serlina and Edgar the Bug clash scenes. Each time it has been used, the weapon has given a tremendous recoil to the person firing it with a fiery explosion resulting in the deadly destruction of its target. When Agent Jay tries to stop Edgar, the peppy gun pushes Jay back a few hands. In the clash with Serlina, Agent K used Noisy Cricket to kill her minions and save Agent Jay's life. The weapon was the first firearm that Jay had ever used after being hired. When it was first seen, Agent Jay mocked Cricket reluctantly, saying he was going to break it, as it was too small and fit right in his palm. The little blaster was intentionally given to the rookies to teach them a lesson to never make judgments based on appearances. It also has a humorous effect, as most rookies would want giant killer weapons, but they end up getting a tiny one. Although the gun has been laughed at by the rookies many times, its power and remarkably high speed at which it destroys the target is not a laughing matter. The Crystal Super Weapon The Crystal Super Weapon is a handheld, movable weapon smuggled to Earth by a royal family member, Vungus the Ugly. Vungus was a Jababian, which was a species of alien belonging to the planet Jababia. It is said to be the most powerful and destructive weapon in the galaxy, powered by a huge blue compressed star. Its wrath can be known by how it destroyed much of the desert surrounding Marrakesh. The damage was done when the weapon was set at its lowest capacity. Agent M acquired the weapon when Vungus was killed in an attack by the twins. Although the giant star's use was unknown, M succeeded in putting the crystal to its use after toying and juggling around with it for some time. The blue crystal was the weapon's ultimate power source. Amid the happenings of Marrakesh, it was stolen by Riza Stavros in the hopes that she would sell it in the alien black market. Since it was such a fatal object to possess, she knew it would fetch her excellent money. Eventually, the weapon was taken back into the safe possession of the agents with the help of Riza's bodyguard. During the battle at Eiffel Tower, M was pulled into a wormhole developed by the Hive. However, she was rescued and used uses the crystal super weapon to destroy the hive creature and wormhole. The deatomizer. Deatomizer most likely works on laser scope, and you could see the smoke coming out of the barrel after its use. Deatomizer is a go to weapon for Agent K. We do not know any projectile or laser beam coming out of it. The weapon severely knocks down the target by exploding the object from inside. Over the years, it has got various models and looks, enhancing its dismantling powers. The Series 5 deatomizer was the improved version of the original issue. This time, film creators have given a sleek design to make it more portable. It can look like cannons, pistols, or shotguns. Most commonly, deatomizer was used by agents K and J. Neuralizer. Think about it. You have a weapon via which you can erase a particular part of someone else's memory and come up with a story to replicate those lost memories. How cool and convenient would that be, right? This is what a neuralizer does. Once a person has been neuralized by a red flash beam coming out of the weapon, it alters certain electronic impulses associated with a person's memory. Consequently, those memories are lost. However, after neuralizing a person, the agents need to ensure to come up with stories to replace the lost ones. It allows a person to go into a trance-like state where the normal brain freezes. Interestingly, the weapon allows you to set all the dials for the length of memories you need to delete. Not just on humans, Neuralizer work on other species too, like animals and aliens. The flashy thing, as referred to by Jay, has shown its variance over the years. In 1969, 
the new variant of Neuralizer was approximately the size of an MRI machine. Once a person has been placed inside, it begins to spin at high rates. It can be remotely switched on and off with the help of a button. The initial variants have been portable, cylindrical in shape, and with a red flash that erases a specific part of your memory. Though it is not deadly, Neuralizers have remained significant to the main plot of MIB movies, primarily because of their exciting and savage function. All you have to do is set the dials, and boom! The person would not remember anything you do not want them to. The effects of a neuralizer can be reversed with the help of deneuralizers. The only two known owners of deneuralizers are Men in Black and Jack Jeeves. The Standard Agent Pistol Given its size and handy structure, the gun is the most fit for being used as a sidearm in all missions. It is a standard field weapon used by all the agents in the agency. Standard Agent Pistols can go from fracturing and shattering a body structure to dismantling life forms. The pistols have been in use by agents since 1995. It has been used by Agent K and Agent D in the opening scenes of the first installment. In Men in Black 3, the Standard Pistol's upgraded version was seen used by Agent J. The Reverberating Carbonizer A reverberating carbonizer is entirely an alien weapon. It first appeared when James Edgar was chasing an unarmed alien. The alien tried to use the weapon, but it dropped and evaporated into the air. The weapon explodes when dropped, that too with green flames. Undoubtedly, seeing it fire and hit the target would have been stunning, but sadly, we do not get more of it from the movies. The most exciting part is that it has a mutate capacity. Although not depicted in the movies, a reverberating carbonizer uses sound wave frequencies. It creates chaos and species whose body has building blocks of carbon and other elements by messing with carbon atoms. It disintegrates them from the inside. Having a mutate capacity would mean that it will further keep on growing and attack the DNA. It might not immediately kill the victim, but might give them cancer. The weapon is pernicious and the perfect pick for assassinations. It will eventually lead to death and make no noise, flash of a beam, fast-moving projectile, or a cricket sound. Series 4 Deatomizer The Series 4 Deatomizer was used by Agent K. Upon seeing it for the first time, an excited J responded, Now that's what I am talking about. In this variant of the Deatomizer, the backward flying off recoil experiences have been reduced, and its power has been upgraded. The Deatomizers have been twice shown in use. Once, when K was pursuing Bug after the Diamond Store robbery, the other and the most iconic time was when Bug swallowed him. When Bug is not in human skin and bones, it is a colossal alien capable of some severe damage. So so in the finale, when K makes his way out of Bug, using a Series 4 deatomizer, it creates a wreck, clearly depicting what the weapon is capable of. It trailed next to the standard issue firearm whenever K needed something with immense explosive power. Tri-Barrel Plasma Gun The Tri-Barrel Plasma Gun, also called the Jackhammer, has three barrels of a deatomizer rifle. The gun throws a ton of plasma when the trigger is hit to make a horrendous impact on the target. The weapon has appeared twice, once when it was used by Agent J in the climax of Men in Black, the other time we saw Agent K's old house in Men in Black 2. It was kept safe and secure in a weapon storage area, and it had a new look with chrome paint on it. As far as its power and range are concerned, although the movies have not shown us enough to draw a clear picture of what would happen had the the gun been employed for its proper use. It has been stated that the gun is capable of disrupting the normal course of human activities. Moreover, a tri-barrel plasma gun would be the first thing that a team would pack with themselves coming to terms with a raging elephantite the Statue of Liberty. In the final scene of Men in Black 2, when Agent J is equipped to deal with the giant monster, Agent K asks Laura to leave in an alien spaceship. As soon as she leaves, the monster too goes after her. However, it was stopped by the agents using out-of-the-world's weapons. That was how New York City witnessed the absurd monsters flying into the sky and a spaceship reaching Earth's orbit. Just one neuralizer would not have been enough to erase the memories of the entire city. Hence, the Statue of Liberty, which was shown as a massive neuralizer, was used to wipe out the memories. Exhaust Pipe Minigun Men in Black International was a kind of reboot of the franchise's first three installments. The movie had Chris Hemsworth as Agent H and Tessa Thompson as Agent M. Agent H has always had his weapons in place and ready to use. In a fight scene, he collects a plasma Tommy gun for himself and asks Agent M to get an exhaust pipe. The weapon was shown momentarily in the movie, so we do not see more of what the exhaust pipe minigun had to offer. However, in the brief moment when M uses it, one can figure it does some severe damage and the minigun is not so many in its power. Upon firing, it carves out a gulp of metal, completely shattering the target into pieces.
Wing Mirror Blaster. During the events of the movie, the new agents in Men in Black International get themselves in a fight and take shelter behind their car. Turns out it is not just a car but a legit moving arsenal. Carefully following Agent H's instructions, M uses the wing mirror and acquires the unnamed blaster. She fires it into the enemy's cover. In no time, their cover was completely torn and left in ruins. However, this overpowered weapon fails to take action against her enemies in the same bombastic way solely because of their rapid healing abilities. Conclusion When extraterrestrial life enters Earth, the men in black are the keepers of the planet, using weapons remodeled after alien technology. For years, coming up with the most unique and strangely powerful and terrifying weapons has been the thing for the men in black franchise. The crafts department of the franchise has given us more wonderful devices than any others. The franchise has offered a lot of weird but fun and interesting things. Let's see what they have in store in the near future. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.